to persevere and to not take the rules and the instructions from the technological business who says, no, you can't say that much. You can't do that much on a video. It has to be this long and you can't say a word in your own home and you can't walk without hearing someone shuffling in the middle of the night and you can't get them to stop hitting the wall. Can't get the bully to stop their insanity. And there's part of why people commit suicide. There's part of the reason people do drugs and then live the rest of their lives as some fucking religious dipshit, idiot, fucking creepy old gosh darn person who uses their voice to do what their body would normally do to say, hello. You look like you just moved here. I haven't seen you before. Nice to meet you. Rather than standing up to them and demanding that they show their credentials and they show who they are and they follow the rules or they will be declared a vagrant. labeled as a maniac psycho killer who wants to tear the wall down to get to that fat, ugly fucking cunt, bitch, slut. Word, language, letter, number, bully, freaking gosh, darn, sad person next door. Similar to saying to this place called Google, this place called YouTube, you can have your 15 minutes. I'll take another 15 minutes. I'll take another 15 minutes. I'll have another meal in peace and happiness. I'll have another snack in calm and relaxation. And you can stink your room up. You can make your home into a room in a house. And you can walk around the apartment building, spreading joy and Jesus love and go out into the world for weeks and stay in your room. You don't say is your home for years. There's, there's, there's plenty of options to lie about hormones, about the brain, the body, the mind, and to say, no, you're not controlling. You're just limiting. You're just reducing the problem. Until you get close to death and dying, until you get a chordoma tumor growing out of your brain, until you get some sort of bad and nasty disease from what they put in that methamphetamine and that crack cocaine and that heroin and that fentanyl, or when you can't even look outside of your eyes anymore because you have tuned your ears so well into sound and stimulus. Your face starts to look like a piece of leather with a zipper for a mouth and eyes with no color. And there will always be people to support one another. 
I'm not talking about one. I'm not talking about a group. I'm talking about a whole gosh darn part of the state and most of this part of the country in the USA, in the United States of America. Not out of anger or hatred or rage, but as a prisoner in this jail they've made. For someone who's excited to learn, but not willing to give up freedom for the stimulus of some prestigious degree, for some social recognition, they are the person to talk to to find out how to solve confusion and problems. I used to watch videos that said, who am I? I am a champion. When I was going through cancer treatment, I used to talk with nurses, I used to talk with doctors, I used to be encouraged. And then I started to get well again in Seattle, Washington. And I started to forget those memories. I started to not hear those calming voices anymore. I started to hear people putting drinks on tables behaviorally correct. I started hearing people do shuffling sounds in the middle of the night to cause some sort of lucidity in another person's darkness. Another person, another person, another person. And I've had to describe in these ways what's happening to reduce the suffering involved from being an observer and a witness. To their brain. Treating their body like a piece of meatloaf. and loving itself so much they feel like consciousness there gets to be a rudeness involved not having limits for emotion and not having limits for stimulus. The rest of my life could be spent in this home now, in this apartment, describing over and over the scarcity, the failure, and the horror to leave some sort of value for the person that throws away my ashes in the trash can in the garbage dumpster. As a prayer to never come back, to never be reincarnated like the Tibetan Buddhist tradition talks about. And have to endure this man-made this woman made Eva with tax Amazon message from the Socialist City Council
instead of the freedom from brain, body, and the peace and calm from mind, and the beauty and the immenseness of the world. All to limit the body, declaring the mind and the brain the solution. focus for Earth the end